What's up guys, Saints Heaven here, and I think there's been a bit of confusion. A lot of you are thinking, maybe I gave away my account, I'm not posting CC videos. Guys, I gave away my second account. This is my main, not going anywhere. All right, this is the first video in a series that's a free to play series, and well, Connor One is someone I've known for ages. He was the first to donate an account to me. This is back when about 500 subscribers, I think. And he also happens to be a free to play player and was kind enough to let me play on his account. You know, hey, good guild member, right? Well, you can see right there, only 1400 gems, farmed by Tapjoy. And well, let's look at his hero altar. Free to play, guys. Really high level heroes. Pumpkin Duke at six of nine, what? He's gonna take him to seven and nine after Druid gets to five. Good heroes, good ability levels. He's beaten H. Yeah, free to play. If you put in the time and the effort, you can grind your way there. All right. Well, he forms G with no garrisons, can do it with four heroes. And one of the comments that I saw in a previous video was about the Reaper and asking how to use the Reaper. I think that's a good question because, well, how do you use the Reaper? Well, for one, he's an excellent Here Be Monsters hero. Why? Well, he's ranged and he floats, so you'll never have to worry about him jumping over walls. He won't be taking damage because the melee guys will be running out in front of him. And now I want to talk about his base setup. It's an Alter Death Box and actually absolutely love it. When they spawn, you can see that's what they're going after, that vault where I'm tapping on the screen. They got to walk all the way around there and the Reaper, well, he's swinging away really fast attack speed too. By by the way, guys, it's one attack every 0.75 seconds versus most heroes, which are one every second. And on G4, another thing about this base that I love is you can see where that gold mine is. It's slightly inside of where the vaults are. That means that a low spawn, the enemies are gonna go after the tower and they're not gonna go after the gold mine. But when the tower's gone, that gold mine's there as a backup. And you can see on G5, well, they're gonna spawn low again, but they're gonna have to go after that tower. And, well, Thunder God, come on, baby, let's proc for him, yeah! All right, all right, Pumpkin Duke, let's go ahead and get that celebrate off, and it's on, oh no, we're gonna lose Pumpkin Duke. Oh, Pumpkin Duke's gone! No, oh, wait, Pumpkin Duke's fine! Game over. You can see, walking through G, no worries, lots of experience, all right. Time for the new account, because I mentioned that I would be starting a brand new account. Here it is, and well, if you watch this series, just skip that guy. You're not gonna need it. All right, first thing you do is, well, you want gems. So get your Google Plus link. You're gonna need a hero altar before you can claim those 20 gems in the hero. And to get that, well, you're gonna have to level that town hall up, but always keep that town hall leveling up, guys. Always a good idea. And well, next, tell a friend. I found the simplest way. Simply click the email button and then back out. You don't actually have to send an email to anyone. You just back out and claim your reward. And you see there's 200 gems down there. Now this is a free to play account, free to play series, but I want those 200 gems. I'm not gonna spend, I'm gonna go to Tapjoy. Love it, you can sort it. Simply watch a video, you get one gem for it and that's the only gems that I will even farm on Tapjoy, it's simply to get that bonus. Exit out, game reloads, and you gotta wait a couple seconds. It's the way it generally works with Tapjoy, if they even give it to you sometimes, but there it is. And you can see there's the gift, 200, boom. What we're doing is working to get as many gems as possible to roll for heroes. It's all about rolling heroes in the beginning. Now, don't be skipping building builds like I did with gems right there. I'm simply doing that for the sake of the video, trying to speed things up. And, well, here's what we got initially in the altar. Now, save that slime. Those are fed to the heroes for experience. Don't give it to your executioner or, God forbid, the Frost Queen. Wait till you roll. Wait till you get a legend. Save him to level that legend skill up. All right. Well, how do you get the gems? Achievements. There are lots of achievements you can do. And, well, we need to get that town hall continuing because at level four, that's an achievement. And, well, we're going to go ahead and skip that just to show you right there. It's 15. Boom. Going to go ahead and grab that. And I got a few other gem tips that I didn't know and I found out a couple weeks ago just by playing around. All right. Now, I mentioned legendary heroes. You know, you can shard farm them as well, and you will shard farm them. But as the last free-to-play series started, it was all about farming Druid. 
And that's no longer the case because Druid is now a gift after 30 days. And I need a name, guys. Comments, help me with that one. Towers, get them out there. The way this game previously was in the very beginning, you didn't want any of these buildings out there. There's no reason to. You didn't want walls, especially because walls would add a bunch of might. It was one might per level of wall, per wall. So 10 walls alone would grab you 100 might. It used to be a great way to move up in the might leaderboard. And this is for spenders too. Don't ever buy a shield. It is the most overpriced, useless thing in the game you can spend gems on. Period. I mean, I, I don't get it. All right. Legends. Well, there are a number of them you can shard farm. You want to start off, you want to farm Thunder God. Thunder God is the man. He's the one that you need to start off farming because he's within reach. You can see right there at 2200. And some of the higher end ones that you can maybe farm later. Also, daily rewards. Good way to get gems. Now, the achievements. There are plenty of them. And if you spend the time to look through them there are a number of them that I'm sure you can figure out a way to get and no problems leveling up any of this stuff because you need it there to get the six hero base so go ahead and anything you want to level get it leveled up um minus the hero or you know well actually it's free to play yeah level that up too basically go through and find the easy ones at first such as troops because well, all you have to do is get him to level 2, and you're going to grab another bonus. Now, of course, I'm going to go ahead and skip that, just to speed things up as usual. And boom, there it is. Second troop, and you can go ahead and grab that. Now, I'm not going to use troops very much, so I'm probably not really going to level them. Now, this is the tip. You can see, watch when that timer ends up. The show, I'm going to grab a few gems for it. Boom. All right, now grab that, and time to roll. Because hopefully we can get something good to start with, and BOOM! Are you kidding me? Yeah, baby! And more tap right off the bat? That's what I'm talking about, and that's what I'm going to get to start with this account, and I got lucky as hell. Guys, I made this account today. It was right after I farmed G on Connor's account, and you can even look at the server time and show that just to make sure that you're not thinking I edited this in so I'd have a good account to start with. I got lucky to farm him. No doubt about it. This is why you save that slime right there. Go ahead, and we're going to consume him. Bada bing, bada boom, yeah. Up to two of nine. And, eh, talent's no good, but who needs a talent? I got a more tap. It's free to play, baby. Wee. And if you actually are smart with how you spend your golden mana starting off, you can get an extra hero roll. And, guys, like I said, comment to give me a name for this account, I have no idea. All right, guys, this is the end of episode one of the new series. Sans 7 out.